there we go it's not completely a cold start but you have an idea one more time all right sport hello guys welcome back to the channel I got another video for you um, today we're working on the 2020 Accord so we finally decided to install a new exhaust so we decided to go with Rev 9 and I'll show you what it looks like I'll give you a couple of sound clip before we do the install. If you guys seen my other video of the boiler, pretty similar. The only difference is this one is Rev9. So the whole thing is the same thing. So anyway, all of you guys who watch my channel have not subscribed, boop, boop, boop. hit the subscribe button down below, put the notification bell on so you don't miss any of my video. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching all my videos. Thank you for getting me to 10,000K sub. I appreciate it. There will be more coming to the channel. Stay tuned. Anyway, let's proceed. All right, guys, so we're just gonna give you a quick start on what it sounds like before the exhaust. There we go. It's not completely a cold start, but you have an idea. Hope you can hear it. We're gonna rev the car for a little bit so you guys can hear it. to the red line one more time all right all right guys i wanted you to hear it from the front of the car all right go ahead one more time all right guys you heard what it sounds like so we're gonna go and start the process let's car stomach All right, guys. Um, when you're lifting the car on the, cause uh, my driver is in a bit of a sled, so try to do the front first, cause the front is lower than the rear. Do the front first, do the rear afterwards, and then you can put the, the jack stand. All right. So once we're done, we're gonna put the tires underneath the car for an added protection. Okay, since I have to work under the car. So anyway, let's go ahead and take out the tire. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take these clips out. There's one here, two, there's one on the bottom, and there's one, there's one back here, right here, okay? This piece is one big piece. So to make it easier, we're gonna use the trim removal tool and pop the clips off. All 
right guys so we also did the same thing i didn't show it to you but we also did the same thing there's one clip here two here and one in the bottom here all right guys so now we got to take a bunch more clip removal tool out Right, guys when you're doing this make sure you always wear eye protection keep your eyes safe all right guys while he does that i'm gonna attempt to take this okay thank god i got one out all right those are big uh they're, they're phillips but they're big so you need a big screwdriver with a big head baby <laughs> basically another one back here guys let's try and take this guy out Yeah. Okay, I got it guys. Guys, all right, I have to come out. <laughs> okay. okay guys, so we took this big cover piece off. We took the whole thing off. It's a lot easier now to be able to see, to get access to what we need, okay? So I'm gonna show you the bottom now. All right guys, so now what we're gonna have to try to fight with is these three bolts here. It's not gonna be easy. So before we do anything, we got to take this bracket out, guys. I think these guys are 14. So I'm going to go grab my 14 and we're going to start to take them out. All right, guys. So now we got to take that bracket that holding the, that's protecting the exhaust. It's 13 millimeters. You just take the whole bracket off. Probably like 14, 15. Alright. So I got 14 and 15. Try these two, see which one fits. So guys, what we're trying to do now is three bolts over here that hold the exhaust. We're trying to take them out. We're using the breaker bar. <laughs> hold it this way. Oh, there you right. go. Yeah, we're tying it. Alright guys, we got it. We got this one of them. Nice. All right, guys, we got both of those bolts loose. Now we're going to take them out. All right guys, so now we're in the back of the car. There's a uh, two, I think 14 or 13. Let's find out. Uh, ready? Wait, no, 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 no. It, it's good, it's, it's, it's untied. All right, 
let's reset it again. All right, hold it. Uh, try to oh, it's okay. It's, it's fine. I got it. All right. All right, we got it loose, guys. Now we can completely take it out. All right, okay, we got all the screws out, guys. And now what we have to do, screws out, now we have to use a little bit of WD-40 and put some on the rubber so we can take the rubber out and be able to maneuver this right here guys so let me get some wd-40 all right guys we're just gonna put some in here and here to make it easier for us to take out the, the rubber i think we're gonna take the middle one out let it soak in for a little bit i'm gonna go to the other side all right, I'm going to the other side and do the same thing, guys. Just put some WD-40. All put some on the other side. All right, now we let it soak for like five minutes and then we're gonna try to take it out. All right, guys, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna try to separate the exhaust should be fairly easy. All right, it's separated, okay. Okay, now guys, there's another rubber clip on the side that we have to take off, hold on. Yeah, this one here, guys. Oh. All right, guys, so let's try to Push this out. We just gotta try to find a way to, to take this rub out. Oh, there we go. You just pull it. <laughs> that easy. All right, so you might need someone to help you guys to hold this. You could do it by yourself, but it's easier with someone helping you. I wish I had a oh it's coming out all right all right we got it guys Whew. we got it that one is out next guys let's move on to the passenger side do the same thing all right guys same thing i just spray this over here with some wd-40 let it soak for a couple minutes oh 30 seconds should be fast enough should be enough okay and now i'm gonna try to Try to pull this thing off. All right, it's a lot easier, guys, with the WD-40. Okay, that's on. Now let's go into the car again. All right, guys, we're gonna take, trying to take out the middle part first before we do the outside of it. Get my WD-40. If any goes on you, yeah. All right, guys, let it soak in for a little bit. Now we're gonna try to pull the rubber out. Alright, got it guys. Okay, now we go to the back. Okay guys, so now we gotta do the same thing on this outside here. Okay guys, uh, I, I don't have enough room to move the exhaust, so I'm gonna go all the way to the front. We're not trying to take the rubber piece off first, all right? Let's go. Okay guys, let's WD-40 this guy up too. Ooh. 
now I'm gonna also try to like take out the um, the exhaust from the front pipe because if it's off we might have a little bit more more room to to clean it off okay okay now we have a little bit more room to work with now let's try to push this guy out Do me a favor. Mm -hmm. While you're holding it, push it. Hold on. Yeah, push it toward me. When I say go, you push it. Not hard, but just good push. Okay, ready? Hold on, hold on. Ready? Go push. Oh. Okay, we're getting somewhere. All right, same thing. Ready? Push. Hold on. Okay, ready? Push forward. Okay, it's coming. Almost there. Push forward. Okay, I got it. You all right? Okay. Oh, the other one just came out. I love it. All right, you can let it down. Whew. We got it, guys. We got it. Okay, let's take it out. All right, guys. So this is the exhaust we just took out. It's basically just that one piece that disconnect the whole thing from here all the way to the front is one piece see that's how honda made it anyways so we're gonna have to reuse these rubbers so we left them on for now so we know exactly where to put them on all these rubbers have to be used so what we're gonna do we're gonna lay the new one next to this one Here it is guys, one thing that's good, it comes with a gasket, which was really nice, I like that. And you have all the clips and all the bolts for the installation. All right, so this is it guys. So first thing we're gonna try to do, we're gonna transfer all the rubbers. All right guys, so we're gonna try to line this guy up and see if we need to take these guys off. We may, we may not. Let's find out first. All right, help me. Good job, that's good. Yep, yep. All right guys, we gotta take it out. We gotta figure out how to take these guys off. All right, hold on, I gotta push this up. All right guys, we gotta take those, those fake tips off. So there's a couple of screws that we use, so let's take these guys off. All right, we got him. Okay, guys. Now, let's go and try to put the exhaust again and line it up and see how it looks. Oh, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. All right, guys, let's lift this guy up.
I'm gonna have to cut some of it off. Yeah. Have to push it back. Okay, it's in the hole. Yep, it's in the hole. Let me try it. Yeah, that's working. That's working. Yeah, almost there. Almost there. A little more. Oh yeah, it's in. Whoo, sheesh. It's Guys, it's in. It is really hard to get this thing in. So we're gonna have to trim, trim. like right here. Yep. I'm fine with that. I don't care. We'll do that afterwards. Let's okay guys, so the exhaust tip looks really nice. They're finally in. But this diffuser, we're gonna have to trim it a little bit. If it was the original bumper, it would have been fine. But we'd have to trim this right here to make it really work. It's gonna look really nice guys. Alright guys, let's move forward and do with the next one. <laughs> it's, it's, oh yeah, it's done. Mm -hmm. You're almost there. Just a little more. Okay, I'm good on my side. And okay, and I'm good back here. Once you do the first one, it's a lot easier, guys. We got the second one done already. All right, let's go to the next piece. Okay. Oh, okay. just let it hang in for now. Uh, okay, guys. We're gonna get the front pipe installed now. Alright guys, so we finally got the, the front pipe installed here. We got the through bolt. We didn't tighten anything else in here. So here, the issue that I'm having here, you see this rubber here guys? It's touching the exhaust here. It's not supposed to. I am pretty sure it's not supposed to. So I'm going to put it on for now, but tomorrow I'm going to go to the store trying to find a different type that would fit here. That's maybe a lot skinnier because the OEM one does not fit properly. It's touching this and I don't like it at all. So it's probably gonna burn a little bit of it when the exhaust gets hot. So I'm hoping tomorrow I can find something that will fix that, you know what I'm saying? All right guys, so for now we're gonna put the exhaust in so we can finish this part up. And then tomorrow we're gonna try to reinstall, we're gonna try to like um, get a new one and install this guy. All right guys, so let's keep moving forward. Alright guys, we finally got the exhaust on. What you're gonna have to do, take this off a little bit before you put the rubber in. Then it would allow you to put the rest of the stuff together. Nothing is tightened there yet. So we're probably gonna start tightening from the top all the way back because it will be easier to line up everything. So let's go to the front and start tightening everything guys. Alright guys, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start tightening this guy up and then we're gonna go find out the top spec all right guys another thing I don't like about the rev 9 see how tight this is for example 
I can't put my tools in there guys see it does not fit it's way too close to this see I, I don't like that it's not a good design yeah that's the problem I'm gonna have to get it to put up the tools to fit in there because I, I can't get this thing to fit in there this one is fine is that one nope yeah, so I'm gonna have to get a different type of tool to get this to fit in there, guys. Okay. Okay. I got one at 35. Let's see. Oh, this is perfect. Grab me the connection for it. Let me see. Let's try this long one. Perfect. All right, now just get me connect the connector for that with the extension. Okay, let me see. Yep. Maybe I can maybe I can still get get it to 14 foot pound. 35, sorry. Okay, all right guys, I may have some tools that might work. Oh yeah, I think that might gonna work. We'll be able to get it to 14, I mean 35 foot pound guys, 35 foot pound. Yes, I got one. Oh, I feel so much better. Let's try this guy. All right, this one fits. Okay, so you cannot use the impact gun tools because they're too thick. <laughs> all right, so but a skinnier one, it works. All right, guys, 35 foot pound. I'm happy. Oh, all right, guys, now we have to do this guy here. All right, guys, before we finish this guy up, we'll put this bracket on the four screws. Okay, that's done. Torque wrench. Okay, guys, now we gotta. Uh, I need the. Alright, guys, sorry if it's a little dark inside here, but I'm, it's about to rain, so I'm trying to get this done quickly. guys all right let's go to the back okay Okay guys, Ooh, I got the exhaust installed. So, I think that's it for now. <laughs> okay guys, because now we have this diff diffuser, after we install the exhaust, you see how this is laying right on the exhaust here? So we have to do a little bit of cutting. So what we did, we cut from right here, all the way around to make a really nice fitting area for the exhaust to fit in. So this is the before, let me show you what it looks like afterwards. So here it is guys. See how much nicer that looks now without the diffuser? So much better, right? 
So I, I put a couple pictures so you guys can so can also see it. I mean, that's the after, and that's the before, guys. That's it, guys. With the exhaust, because of the the way the bumper is, it was touching the exhaust right here. So I cut the piece of it over here. This is from the bumper. I just want to make sure it's not touching anything at all. So. There's a piece here we cut off. We're trying to cut this little piece off too, guys, because it's just touching the exhaust and I don't like it. So we're just gonna try to trim it right here. Okay, so we're gonna do this on this side and same thing on the other side. So that's what the exhaust sound like. That's it guys, like and subscribe, comment down below and tell me what you think. That's it, peace.